Nobody ever tells you that it's the things that annoy you most about the person that you would miss when they're no longer with you. My dad was a shrewd and frugal man to the highest degree. His favorite phrase was, cut your cloth according to your cloth. Not according to your size, because sometimes your size may be too big for the cloth that you have. <laughs> Used a Blackberry phone held together by a duct tape. The screen was broken, battery pack could barely attach, and he didn't care because the phone still worked. He defined his masculinity by the life that he was able to change and the life that he impacted. At some point, my daddy was responsible for the fees for about 20 children. On our way to our family dinner to mark the end of my vacation, my dad asked, Chisum, how much is your phone bill? As kids, we had learned to overestimate how much we needed to pay for something and to underestimate how much we actually paid for something. I lied and said I was paying 50. $50? <laughs> You're paying $50 for your phone bill. When I was in England, do you know how much my phone bill was? 10 pounds. 10, <laughs> 10 pounds. I remember being at the back seat, livid, angry. I was super upset. My mom, the peacemaker or the peacekeeper of the family, came to my defense saying, her mates that are using the same iPhone, do they have to help? <laughs> Where we get to the restaurant and I barely said anything that day. I was super angry. I only took pictures with my siblings, excluding my mom and dad from the picture. And then it occurred to me that I hadn't taken a picture with my dad the entire trip. But at this point, it was too late. I was already on my flight back to Canada. Wisdom only comes to you when you no longer need it. As quickly as the thought came was as quickly as it dispersed because I thought, you know what? I'm going to be graduating in a year. My dad is going to come for my graduation and we're going to take lots of pictures together. My dad passed nine months after. So he never came for my graduation and I don't have a recent picture with him. Even when we were like gathering the funeral book and he had to bring pictures with him, I didn't have anything. So it was basically just me alone in the book shortly after his passing i had a dream about him he was working on his laptop um when i was younger i'd be like oh daddy are you playing on your laptop and he'll be like i'm not playing i'm working <laughs> so he was working on his laptop and he wanted to take us out for family dinner and he just turned to me and he said my favorite moments are moments where we are basic where we are ourselves and when we are simple. There was something to his humility that drew people to him, to come to him when they needed help, when they were in the depths of need and desperation. 